very confident and that's a young man that's had confidence since he walked in day one at the Jets club. He told me we were going to be here at the Pro Bowl announcing this game. And sure enough, he called the shot. 18 years old. You can see his favorite player, Anthony Barr, hoping he makes some plays for the youngster. On the other side is the champ, the number one ranked player in the world, Michael Skimbo. We talked about the, the many championships and the belt he's won. He's trying to add more to that. 26 years old, of course, he's wearing the Brady, and Brady's his guy. Yeah, I mean, who better to represent the New England Patriots? They're known for keeping it as professional as it gets. And when it comes to competitive Madden, nobody embodies the professionalism like Michael Skimbo. His entire approach to this is surgical, and that's the reason he's the best player currently in the world. All right, let's get the AFC started. It's the AFC East. Skimbo and ice starts right now. And ice. Little Ooh. spin move already. Oh, he's getting next and early. And takes this out to good field position, and that's where the youngster will start. And Ice doesn't look nervous. This is a somewhat hostile environment. We got a packed house here at the Pro Bowl. The crowd's all filling up the seats, kicking it off against the defending champion. If you're Ice, you better put on your big boy pants today because you're in a situation, but you could really make a name for yourself if you can pull this one off. First and 10 from the 40. Watch for Randy Moss on the outside. He's lined up to the left in the bunch. And you got it. That's prime time Deion Sanders on the other side. And what's going on here early is they're just no, no, no. settling in. But that was a legit delay of game. Yeah, A little late on the motion. A little late on the motion, making those formation subs, those audibles on the fly. You got to be quick. Rodgers can't get away from the pressure. And that's going to push him back. So already in a hole. Yeah, look at Skimbo sends the nickel on the blitz and then that linebacker on that cross blitz. He's been killing people with this 3 3 5 odd defense all year long. Second and 22. Yeah, there they go. A little bit different than going through the Jets club series. No disrespect to what happened up there in New York. Yeah, and but this is Michael Skimbo. Yeah, you're dealing with the real deal. But he did go through. Ice went through some good competition. He knocked off AKG, Franchise GG, who was part of EMB, sure. made the club championship last year. Ice, for a young buck at 18 years old, he does have some experience. But Throws it downfield, and it's picked off. That's Mel Renfro. And Skimbo has the ball already at the 31. This guy, Mike Skimbo, if you want to witness greatness over the last several years, we have just been seeing greatness with the way he plays John Madden football. The consistency is insane, Coltrane, and we never thought anyone would be able to catch problem to be in that GOAT conversation, but he's already in the conversation, and he's not messing around. Bunch to the right. Cooks is solo to the left. As Carson Wentz goes to work for Skimbo. Good pocket. And Wentz will throw it away. Block. Seems like Ice is playing a... <laughs> seems like Ice is playing a little bit of coverage to start. The problem is he's focused on capping that skim, and I like the feistiness from the young Thundercat, but I don't think he's going to get skim out of his game. He's too focused. He's too prepared. He's got too much experience. And there goes Carson Wentz. He'll be near the marker. They'll have him just shy. He's going to bring up a key 31. These youngsters like to spit bars, but we have yet to see a champ that really likes to spit those rhymes. I think it's a nervous tick. Yeah, it definitely could be. It could help him with the nerves. Sometimes you just rowdy. Sometimes you play better fired up, but you're right. Usually the... The champions, the guys that make the deepest runs, they're calm, cool, and collected because they're just so focused at the task at hand. And nobody embodies that more than Michael Skimbo. Second and eight now to 17. Don't let me interrupt Ice's rapping. They give you the play oh by play. Gosh. And Cooks is into the end zone. 
And look at the savagery of Skimbo. That's just business as usual. He doesn't even blink. He doesn't get excited. He's still focused at the task at hand. And if you're iced, you need to realize you are dealing with a monster. You can't give him an inch. Look how close Ice is to the screen. He's all the way up. All the way up on that chair. It's going to be a defining drive right here for Ice. You can't put yourself in too big of a hole against a player the caliber of Mike Skimbo. Dion. Remember, Skim gets the ball at half. He's already got to stop a quick score. See him throw the corner route. Brandon Cooks, the New England Patriot himself. And keep in mind, the winner of this, Scott, if you make the, the champ... Oh, Ice Cat and Dottie, if you make the championship of this club series, if you're one of the two players, you get a pair of tickets to the Super Bowl along with all that money. And with Skim being a diehard Patriots fan, there's nothing he'd rather do than go watch his team play in that Super Bowl live and in person. His buddy Dubby's a big Eagles fan, so... There's your two tickets. And imagine that for the Patriots organization. If you're able to just clean sweep the Super Bowl <laughs> and the Madden Club Championship, swag on 100 trillion. Second and nine from the 45 for Ice. Trailing by a touchdown. Goes back to Kittle. And Paul Krause says hello. That blitz is just screaming from Skim Scott. And Ice, he's getting, he's getting the ball out of his hand quickly, which is good. But you got to be careful because eventually Skim might get keen to one of those quick reads and just lurk it. See Ice ID in the mic right there on that looping linebacker blitz. Third and four. Screen. And another sack to set up a key situation. And Madden football, we're talking fourth and 14, but look at this. Pressure again by Skimbo. Yeah, Mike Skimbo rocks with W. They represent that needed gaming move it, movement. They sell their gear at neededgamingstore.com. And I'm surprised. One thing I'm surprised is you see guys like Joke on Echo Fox, Problem on Luminosity. It is shocking to me that no major org has gone out and got this guy Michael Skimbo yet. If I am into esports and I'm, you know, a recruiter for those organizations, this is the guy that I'm going after. Well, it's, it's not that he hasn't star. been contacted. It's just they haven't got the deal done. He, he might yet be for like some of those he guys. might be like Belichick. He's too busy in the lab <laughs> to field the calls. Maybe he needs a manager. 91 seconds to go in the first. Skimbo up by a touchdown with the ball. Wentz buying time and he'll throw it away. Let's go over to Dave for an update. Thanks, Scott. We've got Blocky taking on point here in our other AFC matchup. Big third down conversion, Rico. Yes, he was able to move the ball there, but wasn't able to punch it in for seven. Had to wind up settling for three, but it gives him the lead. Three nothing, less than a minute left in the first over here, guys. Back to you. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Big catch out at the 48 yard line. And you're right, I mean, it's, this is a business trip for Michael Skimbo thus far. And I'll tell you one thing, you see Blocky wait after this play with... Good throw away. What I wanted to say is you see Blocky with the 3-0 lead, and leading up to this event, the person that Skimbo has had his mind on, I talk to him every now and then, and he constantly brings up Blocky. That's the one guy that he feels like he was going to cross paths with that was no joke that he's been... He feels like it's a true threat in this tournament. And when you look at Blocky's record online, he was 94 and six. So it's a legitimate threat right there. Good D by Ice. Another throw away. Throw it at me, please. Ha! Get him, Ice. Mama Ice in the crowd rooting on her son. And you gotta remember, Ice was good at the game last year. He just wasn't old enough to compete. Him being 18 years old, uh, this was his first year of eligibility. He's already making some noise. But he needs a big defensive stand. Third and ten now on the 48. Wentz to Cooks, and that's an easy first down for Skimbo and the Pats. This is so surgical. And a thing you should note about Skim Coltrane is he's already thrown the ball away out of bounds about three times in this game. 
And when you think of the best players in the world, you're thinking there's one play touchdowns, they're just walking up the field. No, he takes what the defense gives him. He doesn't force anything, rarely turns the ball over, and that's a big part of his success. So first and 10 now. Has Cooks again. Boy, Brendan Cooks has been absolutely magical here in this first quarter. Just makes it look too easy. Look how comfortable he is here in the pocket. He gets outside of it so he can throw it away if he needs to. Sees the field perfectly. It's just an animal, man. Look at him. He's like a robot that's just trained to destroy you. At Madden football, but... Both of them put their controllers down and... They're, I mean, you, you almost see like a little version of Skimbo over there. <laughs> right? Maybe not the camping, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe but the confidence is there. The confidence is there. And Skimbo, he's a great, uh, he's a great role model for these young guys when he gets there. He'll take them out to dinner. He spends time with them. He gives them words of encouragement. When Ice was capping at him, Skimbo wasn't being nasty to him. You, you, you heard Trump. Um, they said it. Adrian said it. Hey, hey, he likes that from him. He likes seeing the young bucks have confidence. So... Skimble also a great role model for some of these younger players. Well, this is the only deficit we saw in his offense. Jamal Charles as his running back. Yeah, that's the goal, Jamal Charles. Not that Thursday night one. He's only a 78 overall, and he only has 84 speed. That's not a good running. That's not a powerful running back Skimbo has there, but he airs the ball out so much. If you're new to Madden watching us, or if you're here in the crowd here in Orlando, they're playing salary cap mode. So it's all about drafting your players and, and assembling your team, but you got to stay under a certain cap. Yeah, that's as what. Skimbo makes it 14 to nothing. It's a really good point, Coltrane. So when you see Jamal Charles on the New England Patriots or Carson Wentz in the Patriots uniform, mm -hmm. that's why you don't have to play with the actual Patriots team. You take the pool of players, current players, old NFL legends, and that's what you build your team with. Each one has a salary associated with them based on their skill level. So that's one of the cool things. You said you're, you're the player, you're the GM, you're the offensive coordinator, you're the defensive coordinator. That's what we love about competitive Madden. And we talked about Jamal Charles. Maybe that would be somewhat of a disadvantage, but oh, he ice. is able. Ice is getting icy. That's a 30, that's a spin move. 20, 10. And they take him down at the one. Let's go. Oh, Ice is failing it. The young buck just had Skimbo on skates in the open field down at the one. Can he punch it in? Skim's not happy. High formation now after the big return. And he tries to sneak it in and no. And the, the problem is, it, you're going up against your regular buddy at home, getting this one yard's no big deal. But against a player like Mike Stop. Skim, it's tough, Stop. but Ice Stop. don't care. Stop. He don't care about Ice, Stop. and he don't care about Skim yeah. either. The first time in the history of Madden, someone's called a QB sneak dot. It's a run dot. <laughs> well, that'll cut the lead in half after the big special teams play. They got him to the one-yard line. And you got to love the confidence of the young. And you go down 14 nothing to the reigning champion. Most people would just be down and in the dumps. Ice is still bobbing, still making plays. Gets himself back in the game. And if he can get a stop here, he'll have all kinds of momentum. Oh, you got to watch out for Skim on special teams. We've seen him return a kick or two. And Skim's normally the one that'll come up with a kick return or two throughout a tournament. Got a little taste of his own medicine from Ice. 14-7 to seven now. Just getting going here in the AFC. We're in the Eastern Division of the Conference. Wentz. Throws it late, but Grant able to pick up a quick 14. Here's the replay on the long run. You see the old line gets pancake, and this is where Ice just pulls out the stick work. Get out of my way, Skim. I'm on my horse. Sneaks it in for six. Still rapping off free play. Skim said it. He's going to go deep. Aaron Rodgers impression right here. And throws across his body to Grant. 
And that's going to move it all the way down to the 23 after the decline penalty. He saw the user covering up X, and he threw it across his body for a big game. Yeah, great read. And the last thing you can do is give someone like Mike Skim a free play. Most likely, he's going to find that open receiver deep down the field anyway. Just taking more pressure off of him. Ice desperately needs to get something on defense. There's another jump. Another free one. Another free one. This time he will throw it to X, oh! and it's a touchdown! Oh! So pinning the extra point, it's going to be 21 to 7. After the long run by Ice, Skimbo comes back to answer. And that, that's intimidating if you're Ice. You, you call in Skim everything but the Son of God, and he just continues to keep this blank stare at the screen and walk up the field. That's got to be frustrating. Take a look at it again. Rolling out RG, and he's just going to force this one in there. Yeah, and I like it. If it's a free play, take your shot deep downfield. Skim knows it. Now back to the ground for Ice, but this time Skimbo's got it bottled up. Yeah, and if you're Ice, you scored on a long run. You got to think Skim's not going to let you continue to just pound the rock on him. Gonna have to mix it up and show us he can pass the ball. Neither of these guys going really heavy on the cap for their running backs. Off the back foot, that's Deion oh, Sanders. Die. And prime time. I will. can't stop you, but die. <laughs> He's old character, isn't he? Said, so, yeah, I can't stop you, but dot. I like that he's got his club championship jersey on, by the way. Oh, that's a cool jersey. You know, he went ahead and brought it down. He, he won it up in New York. and He actually messaged me last night on Twitter. He said, RG, you think I could wear the sick jersey the Jets gave you, or I got to wear the one they have here? I said, hey, bring it. You never know what could yeah. happen, so... Looks like he snuck it up there on stage, but it's a nice jersey. The Jets hooked him up. First and ten. And when you talk to that Jets, so I was at that um, event. I didn't do the commentary. I'll go for this update. Let's take a look at Blocky and Point here. What's going on, guys? A lot of action going on over here, guys. You saw the low ball pass from Blocky right there to go up 10-0, and then Rico, huge pick six right here. <laughs> yep, was it done? Woo, woo, woo. Got him in there, stick work, touchdown. Point, not satisfied with the 17-0 score. Huge run here, excuse me, on the truck stick, up the left sideline, all the way down inside the five-yard line. Rico, able to capitalize. Yep, he went ahead and punched it in here from the five, got outside, it's still got a ball game here. 17-7, two minutes and counting. Blocky is driving, back to you guys. I appreciate it, gentlemen. Well, 21-7 over here, and you know we were talking a bit before we came out here how Maybe Skimbo and Blocky were looking past their they were. initial competition and looking forward to playing each other. They were. I talked to both of them separately, and they both immediately brought up one another. Skimbo didn't mention Ice. He mentioned Blocky. Blocky didn't mention Point Spread. He mentioned Skimbo. This has been a match that they've both had in their sights for a long time. They still got business to take care of, though, before we get that. 126 remaining in the first half. Skim almost marked that. What I was saying before we went to the, the live look-in for the other game was when we were at the Jets Stadium, the Jets organization was like, there's nothing more that we would like for us to walk in there and swag on the Patriots and the other teams in our division. They were all in on ice. They gave them sick gear, a cool swag bag. So they're all in on their guy, but... Finds Moss down at the seven-yard line. Stops rapping for a second just to throw a dot out at Skimbo. Yeah, young Jim Schwartz. George Schwartz from Jim Thorpe, PA, 18 years old. 129 and 34 on the ladder. So Ice's record's no joke. And Rodgers can't get rid of it. Thought he had a touchdown but couldn't get it out of his hands. Did you hear his yell? Ah! <laughs> Such a character out there. He's like one of the, remember that Animaniac cartoon? <laughs> I found that annoying as well. Second and goal from the 13. That was a good cartoon, Scott. I think it was past my time. I think I'd, I'd graduated to Save by the Bell or something like that. 
Good cartoon on WB, man. Third and goal from the 10. Oh, ice is not good. Yeah, Ice said this is not good. Third I'm and goal. You're watching cartoons. I'm tuning in to Kelly Kapowski. The save by the bell was tough, too. Oh, and Ice, ice is getting in there. Skimbo to please do something stupid and then proceeds to mix the extra point. <laughs> Sad tuba. Oh, life could be rough sometimes. 21 to 13. Oh, no. And that's where Skimbo will go to work. 43 seconds. Take a look at this touchdown run again, RG. Oh, man, that's got to be a meme or something. Good touchdown <laughs> run. Do something stupid. Proceeds to miss the extra point by a mile. He doesn't seem discouraged, though. Skimbo, no timeouts here. 40 seconds to go before the half. Let's go in the fucking box! Come on! Do something stupid! Bud Dupree gonna, with the get pressure. A, get a sensor for ice up there, huh? Commissioner might get up there, give him a language warning or something. I'll text my mom and tell her to tune in later in the broadcast. Oh, my God! As... Johnson able to pull it in on the sideline. No time. That's going to stop Skim. the clock, though. Yeah, he needed it. Skim's got no timeouts. Skim sweating a little bit. Ice will not go away. That's very imperative. Ice isn't here to lay down. That that confidence is very real that he has. Twenty-one to thirteen. He's going to get tackled in bounds. He's going to have to hustle up to the line. It's a 51 yarder from there. And watch him And get he's got Greg the leg as his kicker. And watch him get this field goal off. Only need about six or seven seconds. He's got nine. Oh my gosh. I think he is up and it is good. And that's why he's the champ. You miss an extra point, he comes back and gets three. That's a four-point swing. And I think the thing you need to realize is it's, it's so hard to play offense in Madden 18, and I don't think Skimbo was close to getting stopped there in the first half. He got points every time he touched the ball, Coltrane. By the way, how do you feel about the no halftime show? Just, just I let's, love let's keep it rocking. As a, as a player, a former player, you got to love it. I love it. Let's just get straight into the action. This is where the good stuff is. So first and ten now. But, you know, he's representing the, the Patriots and Michael Skimbo. But that's what they do so well. They get a little score before the half, and then on this opening drive, that's where they really open it up. I'm telling you, I don't think. Oh, oh that's picked up! Yes, what was that? Let's go. Thank you, fucking God. Let's go. That's Leonard Williams. Oh, on my the line. goodness. Look at Skim's face. Says it all. Look at this replay. I've never seen that ever. The AIDT off of a block that jumps up. Forces Skim to turn the ball over. Ice is all the way back. He needs to capitalize. First and 10 for Ice. Can't get rid of it. And if you're wondering, you can't, you can't get his stuff on, on SoundCloud. <laughs> you can't get that ice EP. It's not out yet. Wow. And that you know what? Props to ice. When you stay confident, you don't get down in the dumps, and you keep on playing, good things happen. You know, that, that seemed like kind of a lucky play for the AI to jump up and get it, but his attitude and willingness to continue to fight, it's going to allow stuff like that to happen. Third and 19 now at the 44. Confidence goes a long way in this game, Coltrane. Bunch to the left. He's going to flip-flop it. 26. Watch for Randy Moss on that C route to the left. And 
Just can't hold on. Try to force it in between two defenders. Fourth and 19. This is going to be tragic for Ice if you can't go ahead and get some points off of that turnover. Fourth and 19. Biggest play of the game thus far for Ice. This is a dangerous spot to be in when you're playing defense in Madden football. Throws it to B, and there's Sanders. That's a punt, that's a punt. Yeah. And he's saying that's as good as a punt. He's even happy he throws an interception. He, he's always willing to make a positive out of it. Huh? It's so a punt, that's a punt, yeah. Rimfro with an INT at the 17. And there is Jamal Charles, the former Longhorn, will take it to the 20-yard line. And this is where Skimbo's game to me has always been out of, this is the worst situation for him. Well, it's a good situation because he's up, but it's hard for him to kill the clock and run the ball because he's just so heavy on that passing attack. His run game's never been very world class. Wentz finds Grant. And we are serious. It's third and two. You got an F-bomb counter over there? It's rising. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. I'm not counting, but it's rising. Not a good look. Third quarter, three minutes ago. Third and two for Skimbo. He's going to... Wow! Under pressure. Almost like he was going to throw it deep. Yeah, it's just too surgical through the air. It's just good read after good read. He's been running this offense for three to four years now. He's been in the bunch since he started playing competitive bat, and Skipbo has never really changed this offense. His reads are just so surgical. Look at this. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. No need. He's not worried about running the ball. He's not worried about killing the clock. He just continues to walk upfield. So it's truly a special talent. Wentz rolling. Finds Jamal Ooh, Charles. Yeah. You got to be careful with that sort of hit. You got to think Skimbo most likely with Jamal Charles, and you haven't really seen him attempt any moves. I wouldn't be surprised if he has his ball carrier on conservative the entire game. He's not trying to risk a fumble. Those are co coaching adjustments you can make pre-snap. And Bud nice. Dupree comes through again. Third and seven. Holding him to a field goal here, RG, would be big. Yeah, that would be big for Ice. Keep it two possessions. And there's Delaney Walker. Right there at the nine, and that's fourth and two. And let's see what he does here. I'm thinking, he's thinking what we're thinking. If you can make it three possession, you can go. I, I bet you, I, I know what Skim does. He's going to come out. He's going to try to fake snap. He's going to fake snap, try to draw the defense off sides, hoping Ice isn't aggressive. And if he doesn't jump off sides, he'll take the delay of game and then kick the field goal. Double tight end, up under center. Here comes the fake snap. There it is. There's the fake snap. No offsides. Take the delay. I like that call. Eats a little more time off the clock. Fourth and seven. It's a 31 yarder for Skimbo. I'm not so smart. <laughs> and ice down 14. Mama Ice got to be in the crowd rooting him on. This is his chance to come back. And word on the street is Dubby's here rooting on Skimbo. But he's rooting him on with a Patriots jersey on. Yeah, he said it uh, yesterday on the broadcast that, he, you know, of course he's a, from Philly, a huge Eagles fan. But today he was going to be a Patriots fan hoping his buddy Skimbo and, and win the whole thing and get him tickets to the game. And that's the story of it. They're good friends. They laugh together. One's a Patriots fan, one's an Eagles fan. And Dougie relying on Skimbo to secure these tickets so they can go watch the teams play in the Super Bowl. Nice. Just couldn't get rid of it. 
Second and 21 from the 14. Oh, man. Ice got a lot of energy, doesn't he? <laughs> Takes a sack and <laughs> proceeds to spit some bars. He's like the Red Bull of Madden. Ha! Just nonstop. And if you have too much, your head hurts. I wonder how many sacks Skimbo has, huh? This blitz is screaming. <laughs> yeah. Taking shots at ice over there. <laughs> There's a sack all the way back at the two-yard line. This is, this is going to get dark. This is going to get dark. <laughs> He's trying to hold back <laughs> the start. Third and 33. <laughs> Put your fours up. We're in the fourth quarter. Oh, you got to love Mike Skim. Here between the Jets and the Patriots. This kind of feels like a Jets-Patriots game at the moment. Ball is own two, the shadow of his own end zone. It does kind of feel like a Jets pass game, doesn't it? <laughs> Trust me, if this was red zone, Scott Hansen would have been off this one a, a long time ago. It's a big play, though. I mean, down 14. Vice can somehow. Finds Moss. That'll help. So it's fourth and 12 after the 21-yard gain. Let's take a quick sneak peek on what's going on between the Dolphins and the Bills. Oh, this is... As point spread has got first and goal, now make it second and goal from the three, trying to tie things up between the Dolphins and the Bills. Look at this. Point spread, the diehard Bills fan, season ticket holder. Yeah, we were up there. We, oh, we called that Bills. It was Bills. amazing. Went through Pony, Montana. I mean, he had a tough road there. He can literally ride a bike to the stadium. Absolutely. That's how close That's how he is. That's how close he was. And the Bills were thrilled to have him represent. They love seeing the hometown hero do his thing. And same thing with Blocky. He grew up right in Miami. Whole family's Dolphins fans. So these guys got a lot of pride in the teams they're representing. Both somewhat relatively unknown, but made some names for themselves this year. Well, Blocky's a guy that nobody wants to face here in this group of 32. Second and goal. Point spread. Low throw to Marvin Harrison. And pinning the extra point. We might be tied. And there it is. Richard Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Point spread killer. Ties the ball game up. With 4.57 to go in the fourth. 17-17. Point spread. Something wrong with his headphones over there. League of Steve on the case, though. You see him up there? Like a ninja. A ninja. Sliding in there and getting it done. Let's go back over to Jets and Pats. Ice was able to work his way out of his own end zone. So he's on a drive here. 14-point game. 3.50 to go. Kittle out of bounds at the 42, fourth and seven. <laughs> Ice is relentless. Like, you, the game, it, he's down two possessions with the ball. You feel like it should be more. I mean, he just won't go away. Needs seven here. Got to get to the 49. Here's the motion. Rodgers. Somehow escapes and throws oh! it downfield and picked off. Sam Shields. And I'll tell you, Scott, Ice was talking trash all week long. Was asking about restaurants in Minnesota, where to buy a jacket. And you, you can talk the talk, but when it comes to walking the walk against Mike Skimbo. We'll let you know when we get there. We'll send you a postcard. First and ten now for Skimbo. He's, just, he's so surgical. He's just so surgical, man. And Brendan Cooks has been the story. Some key grabs over the middle. And a score here would make it very tough on ice as Cooks finally drops one. Just always got his guys in space. And when you talk to Dubby and Boogs, the guys that get to play Skimbo, they'll tell you, man, Mike's the real deal. Even in the practice game, Skim's just out there. He, he's really just 
doesn't take any days off. Oh God, give me one. Every game he plays, he's out there trying to win. And he just has a different approach to the game compared to the rest of the field right now, it feels like. Boy, if he would have thrown a pick there, pick six, this would change the whole picture in a blink. Got to be careful. Ooh. Low throw. Right, that's cheating. That's cheating. And Ocho Cinco picks up the first down. Nice tells him he's cheating with that low throw into traffic, but you got to think Skimbo's practiced that many of times. And now hands it off to Charles, and he goes nowhere. Young George not messing around, continuing to fight. Running out of time, starting to use those timeouts. Skimbo has zero yards rushing now. And that, that's going to be interesting if that becomes a factor later on in this tournament. Because eventually if you skim, you're going to go up against some of these guys, maybe Drini or a problem, or, and they're going to have some real deal pass <laughs> defense. And not, and, uh, what, being one-dimensional against those type of players is going to be tough, but if anyone can do it, it's that man right there, Michael Skimbo. And Wentz sneaked it. No one touched him. He stood up and gained a few more yards. I, when you compare the two, Skimbo looks like he's 80 years old. I mean, he looks so old, and he's not. He's, no, he's, a, he's a youngster himself. 26 years old, Claremore, Oklahoma. And he coaches baseball. His team's always tuning into our events, he says. They're always cheering him on. When he lo loses, they give him a hard time, which rarely happens. Well, that's going to pretty much put this one in the fridge, RG. 30 to 13 here in the AFC East between the Jets and the Pats. Let's take a look on the other side.